Hi, hello everyone. I am Giri Chandra and today I am going to talk about an application that helps us to learn quickly and provides better understanding towards the subject. So, Brainscape. This app is smart, logical and it is free to download. So, Brainscape helps us to learn fast and efficient as possible. And there is a scientific research shows that we forget more than 90% of the content that we learn. So to avoid these circumstances, Brainscape has created an environment where the students and faculty can create more smart flashcards towards new search study system. So these flashcards can be accessed anywhere, anytime. So why Brainscape is clever? Because it breaks complex components into small blocks, provides them in a customized, customized platform. Even you can adjust your pace of learning in this application. So let's see here. So as you can see, this is a home page of a Brainscape application here. It says the world's smartest, smartest flashcards, right? So, and if you come down a little bit, as you can see here, there's a search bar where you can search different types of topics or courses and what you want to study for. And here it says browse, browse all flashcards. So here you can, if you click on this one, you can see the, all the flashcards up here that were created and in a very, in a different subject. Here you, there are a few of the topics that are available for the entrance exams and uh, you can even learn stuff for the certifications as well so this brainscape has the data for all the subjects in academics and here you can learn the foreign languages you can learn about science and you have uh, english flashcards humanities and social studies you can even learn about fine arts food and beverage you can even technology and about finance and economics, business, oh, many more, right? So this Brainscape actually works on flashcards. So this app allows everyone to create their own flashcards or you can access the flashcards that were created by others by creating an account or logging in or you can proceed as a guest. So let's see, if you want to proceed as a guest, you can just go on and click any of the topic that you want to learn and you can further proceed through the application. So let's try here. If you want to learn about biology, just go on and click on biology and it takes you to certain decks that has different types of flashcards and it is segregated into different topics you can see here as you can see on the segment here the flashcard maker gives you who has made this flashcard says david bradshaw and he has 1446 cards within 36 decks and as you can see 36 people were learning this particular biology segment and you can see the sample decks which it relates to other decks as quiz 9 by 4 cell structures and functions and even unit 2 is a chemistry of life right so if you go and try this one just click on this deck and you will be directed to this particular screen where you can see these are all the decks that were created for this topic and here you can see that each deck has the how many number of cards in here so the first deck quiz 9 by 4 has 33 cards Strel structures and functions has 125 cards and unit 2 has 30 cards chemistry of life 2 has 31 cards and so on so if you want to go and click on cell structures and functions here you can see 
a question and answer for that. So here, principal surface houses DNA, chromatin, phase loose DNA, chromosome, phase tightly packed DNA. So you call this as nucleus. So now you get to know the scientific words and a simple language as well at the same time, right? And you can see what is a cytoplasm. So cytoplasm is a thing that holds cell together, keeps organelles in place. So now you, this is how a brainscape helps you to learn. So you know you could know one type of definition, and there are there is a, there are different types of definitions throughout the Google or web pages, and these flashcards were created by a lot of people and each one comes up with the different types of definitions so you can relate all of them to single one and you can make it as you are uh, understand uh, which better right so that's how this brainscape is so helpful and on the left side you can easily navigate to the topics which you want if you want to switch to other topic as photosynthesis and study guides which is at chapter 6 in this particular topic click on that and you will be directed to the particular deck so it says this photosynthesis study deck has 29 decks right so you can go on through this so as you can see here uh, someone has given a definition called as photosynthesis so what is photosynthesis the process of converting light energy from the sun into chemical energy in the form of organic compounds primarily carbohydrates so this is a very simple definition that was provided by one of the students or maybe faculty so okay now if you want to log in in here you can have your own email id and password for that or you can go on with the google account or you can go on with the facebook account anytime so let's say we can well, let's say we do dive into more deep into this app okay how do you like to start here so if you if you see here there are three options so if you want to try creating your own flashcards you need to register in that so you have to sign up with one of the account you have or maybe create a different or create a new account for you okay and the, if you want to find a subject so here on this right side you can see a different types of subjects up here so there's an MCAT CPA biology GRU Calgary French a lot more this is just an example for the displaying that uh, all the types of uh, courses are supported in the flashcards So now we'll see how we can create a flashcard of our own. Okay. So we go login. And let's say I have a Google account, right? So I'll go on with my Google account. So here I have already logged in this account. So this is, as you can see on the screen, I have created a study as a biology and as you can see I have a created deck called as plants and I have inserted one card in here so if you want to create a new one new deck so cre uh, sorry I'm gonna go tell you how to create a subject right how to create a class first of all yeah so if you want to try to create a class go on create and here you have to give a name for the class which you want to create the flashcards right so let's say we create a as I already created the biology you can give any name of uh, say biology 2 so when you typing the particular class you want to create on the right side you can see the suggestions that may be related to your field of study or uh, already there are existing flashcards right so that you don't end up creating the same name for the different types of flashcards so here we have for ap biology 
MCAT biology and S1 microbiology. So instead of these names, you can give a different name. So let's say biology 2. Okay. And save it. And you're successful in creating a class called biology 2. And the bottom of the bottom of this, you can see what did you with the, how much mastery did you do? What did you achieve in this particular class? And on the right side says card study zero by zero. So that if you have uh, let's say 20 cards in this, and if you studied only 10 cards, you have studied 10 by 20 cards. And it depends upon the level of uh, study that how much have you mastered the subject. So it says this class has no decks. So now we create a DAX in here. So go on, you can choose this option or you can choose right over this option. Anything works, right? So create a deck, and you have to give a deck name. So for the deck name, let's say for the biology, you give <coughs> uh, animals and save it. So now, in the biology 2 class, you have created an animal deck called animals, right? So it says there are no cards in this deck. So now you want to go ahead and create some cards so that you can publish online and everyone can access your cards, right? So now go and try to create a card, it says add cards. As you can see here, okay, you should type a question and then answer for this card, right? So let's see, um, we can create a question regarding animals. So what do we type in for a question regarding animals? There's a lot of stuff been going on, so uh, let's try starting with a simple one, right? So, how many types of animals are existing in this universe? And question mark. So, this question can be interpreted in so many ways, but to my interpretation, we say we have herbivores and carnivorous animals, right? So just go ahead and type the answer as there are mainly two types of animals in this universe. They are skip trying to try to keep this as professional as possible right they are happy or us oops and coming over us animals Right, and now you can just save this deck, right? And if you want to add a new card, just go and click on add card, and then you can add a card. So you can create as many as cards you want in this particular deck. And it says to add a row, press tab or click button below, right? So you have a shortcut key to create a new card that is tab, or you can go and click this option as you can see on the screen. So now go and save this deck. So it says saved, you can continue adding cards, right? So just, you can now click on start studying. So the flashcard gives some suggestions that how do you study this card? So you see, you see the front of a flashcard. When you open app application of the Brainscape, 
you do, you can always see the front of, front of a flashcard that means a question and answer on the right or left in which direction it is and you reveal the correct command or explanation on the back of the card okay and you rate how well you knew it on a scale of one to five so this is the process how you learn through a flashcard Brainscape uses your conference to determine when to show it again so here this line states that if you let's say if you rate uh, a card as five so that so it means that you know that topic very well so it doesn't often suggest you or it it doesn't pop up the flashcard often to remind you that yeah you have to remind this you already have to study this and you're not confident enough right but if you selected one or two it sometimes it when you're reading a different subject or different course it will give you it will show the pop-ups that hey you are not confident in this topic so get used to it so like that okay now click continue and here you can see the questions that we have created right how many types of animals are existing in this universe so here as you can write down your answer and check it or maybe you know you can tell some friend ask some friend and you can cross question each other and everyone and after that you can reveal the answer clicking in the arm. so now here you say there are mainly two types of animals in this universe there are herbivores and carnivores animals right so down below we have numbers one two three four five and this bar this particular bar the number bar tells us that how confident are you in this question so if you're one you're not confident at all and if you press two um okay if you press three yeah you're almost there and if you're four yeah you knew it very well and if you're five you're perfect that whenever you ask this question you're ready to give the answer right so since there are only two types of animals and you know that the herbivores and carnivores for the most of time just go and click five and now it says you rated this card as five great so you studied this card and rated as five that means you know this very well so it won't be shown as often as you concentrate on the cards all right so click on continue study so here you can see type of text you want to access in the particular class and this bar shows that you have achieved 100% mastery over this card or text right so click on done and you will be navigated to previous screen and over here the current learners are yourself so this is my name and I'm the one who is learning here so my name would be appearing on the screen and if any other subscribe this or open the flashcard and try to learn this one you can see others names as well so you can know how many people are learning and uh, how much mastery they have achieved and uh, how many cards they have gone through or how many decks or even you can see that if they want to add some cards or decks in your class they have to request an access for that okay so up here if you share this class for free then you have given an option or an access to every other person to create cards or to add some data into your class right and here down there you can see um, an option called make private so if you wanna don't want to share this particular class that you have created you can go and make this as private so the people can just only open this cards and just go through the question and answers and that's all they can't edit or they can add anything unless you gave them the permission to do so and if you see here under the decks you have a deck called an animals and you have only one card in it so if you want to study the, the same uh, procedure will be repeated that you're going to ask for one to five conference levels and so on so if you want to edit this one go to the settings on the deck card and here you can see the deck info 
the reset state stats so you can reset the whole deck or whole cards or whatever you want to do and you can edit the deck info you can even edit the cards that you can add some words or you can change the question or you can modify the question or answer right and you, you can review all the cards that you have created in the particular class so here export even you can export this into online sites right in let's say in brainscape or you can add this to the web so that everyone can access it and you can create a duplicate deck so for this creating duplicate decks you now you have to um, purchase a special feature for this and you can delete the deck as well so let's say and see what is deck info it says deck object two is number of cards are one right so it says the name of it and if you want to go see the stats so if you want to see the stats you have to upgrade to pro version so you have to buy the particular feature right and if you want to see if you want to edit the deck info you here you go it gives you an option to edit the deck info so you want to change this name of the deck to uh, animal from animals to um, um animals one two you can add this and then save and here it is so there it is it reflects the name of the card right there you go if you click on that again you're gonna go through this text and if you want to review all the cards just review it and you can see that there's only one card and one deck and one question okay and can create to the brain scale now since here on the left side you can see there is a biology class where they have created a deck called as plants and the cards as one so if you want to if i want to edit this one just click on the settings and you can go to the edit cards and there you go so you can create a one more card or you can delete the card by clicking this button cross mount button up here right so as you can see here the options you can import this to a csv file as well so all these questions and decks and the courses the classes you have created all these will be imported as a csv file and you can use it to your different types of projects right and if you say if you don't do any changes it shows you that you have already saved the work what you have did and there are no changes that you have made so just go back to brainscape by clicking here okay and now if you try if you let's see the options on the top what they mean if you hover on this fine flashcards you can see a small uh, uh suggestions for you let's say university entrance exams if you are not right some universities you can go with that and if you want to do graduate programs in any college you can go with this and if you want to write or achieve some things some certifications in any field or any career you can go with the professional certifications and if you want to learn some foreign languages which you know, you know related to your academics or uh, you travel into different country and you're very curious to learn the language go can proceed with this and you can have a cloud flashcards in medical and nursing as well law and science and many more okay so you click on my classes up here it says what well, which cards are you learning or which cards did you have created right and as i show as i just uh, displayed that how to make flashcards so if you can type in make flashcards and here you it automatically pops up by you it asks you to create a name for your class and uh, here you can see that uh, 
one more button called as educators if you click on that it says studying made easy you know it's try uh, how to educate the people or how to we have a tutorials on this how to make flashcards or how to track your progress as well so if you come here you can engage your students so this option is says that you can uh, uh, invite your friends or your fa family faculty or anyone to this dreamscape and through this you can all keep track of your record so here it says Bridget has studied 314 cards and she has mastered 62 percent of these total cards and Carl has studied 159 and he has a 31 percent of mastery in here so this is how you can track your record how, how much you have learned and how much there are how many left and you can even access to other people records you can see your friend's status that how many cards do your friend has studied or you can suggest them you can uh, you know modify them and many more so here are some reviews that by from a faculty and some students so just i don't want to go through this but just go and uh, search the whole app and um, see what the reviews are and uh, try to learn more from the professors as well. So here are some features that Brainscape provides you. So it helps you to find great flashcards that were certified and uh, you know verified verified from a highly quality quality educator educators and uh, you know uh, professors as well and it has uh, it has a feature that you can create your own flashcards and study progressively so you can keep track of your progress how many flashcards did you study how many classes have you finished and you can collaborate with classmates as i just um said earlier that you can invite people into this your own uh, ac account and you can uh, share this app with everyone and you can track keep tracking of each other's and you can discuss about the flashcards and many much more options you can share your class as we learned about the private uh, option right and you can navigate your content so you can flip through the cards as i sure as i um told you about that you can go to the different classes let's say you can switch from biology to chemistry or chemistry to physics or anywhere okay and here are some pro features this pro features can be um, downloaded if you uh, purchase it right so you have to pay some amount for that features you can upload media so here you can even add some images and animations and you can add sounds to your flashcards to make them interesting and you can format the flashcards by you know uh, giving up a different types of fonts text and uh, pictures and uh, some watermarks and many more and you can bookmark your cards uh, your, in your browser and finally you can make classes private so if you don't want to give access to others just make it private and you can keep it on the display that the people can access and study right So we see all the subject areas up here and so this is the main page that where you can see all the type of uh, subjects up here. So um, yeah, so I hope you have learned something about the Brainscape that how to, um, you know, create flashcards and uh, how to collaborate with each other and uh, um, how to study and how to keep progress and how to add your own flashcards so for the last time for the last record if you if you want to go to see how the entrance exams on flashcards helps you click on it and it will ask you what is the type of field of study you have so it's sat or gd or psat you know and here under down you can see a tick check mark in the green button and says brainscape certified so this is where uh, the developers of the brainscape uh, people has uh, certified this particular flashcards uh, throughout the world by taking um, 
suggestions and changes and uh, approval from the top universities and the professors if you want to see all with who what are all this Greenscape has certified so here you can see these are all that the flashcards or the topics that were certified by the Brainscape through the help of the professors and uh, you know students as well see here you can see see all other Brainscape classes including other created user created classes as well yep so all the check marks up here the green check marks you can see here the Chinese and French Spanish and here employee training demo and all of these all of these are Brainscape certified and the rest of them are certified by uh, highly qualified professors and as you can see here down it says Brainscape is also applicable on uh, mobile and it's a web-based platform so you can download it on your iPhone devices uh, using an Apple Store App Store or uh, you can get it through uh, Google Play for the Android devices so this brain gives is very helpful for you know uh, increasing, increasing the vocabulary and the knowledge on the subjects uh, so you can uh, even access this application in your phone while you're traveling or uh, you know outside your work area or anywhere so as you have a uh, and you can see the flashcards as well so the um, interesting part is even if you don't have an internet connection uh, in your place you can uh, always save the cards when you're reading it and you can review them later so uh, I hope you guys have learned something about the Brainscape app and uh, uh definitely for sure use this app and try to uh study you learn and uh, try to tell your friends about this app and make it uh, make your uh, studying very smart right so and now uh, this is it for today and uh thank you for your time